Hello, everybody, and welcome to the actual final boss of Chapter 4. I leveled up last time. We made it to Creepy Steeple through all the backtracking. At the final total, this entire session will be over an hour before the Glitz Pit. This is significantly shorter. Hey, you again. Hey, Slick, you're pretty stubborn to follow me all the way here. Fine, fine. I see. I get it. Let's put an end to it, shall we? All right, kids, let's put your fighting gloves. Uh, woo! It's a me. Sure thing, Mario. We're right there with you. This creep couldn't take us down on his own, so he teamed up with a shadow siren. Well, we sure won't be letting him do anything to our little Mario. You're gonna taste the pain, Gonzalez style, Shadow Guy. Very good, my loyal ones. How dare this nameless nobody challenge the great Mario? Mario. The guy who stole your name and body is Mario? That means you're Mario? I can't believe it. All this time I was helping Mario. I feel like an idiot. What's going on here, huh? Fight with your girlfriend? Well, don't expect any sympathy from us, ghoulies. Vivian has no idea how to react to this, so she is actually not in the fight. Your friends ditch you because you don't have the charisma of me, Super Mario. Can't flee this fight. Lucky! Charge! Ha ha ha! Oh, thank God! I thought for a second she might have my ridiculous power level. Charge! Damn it, that's really hard. Yeah! I'm... I'm sorry, sis. This Mario is the only person who has ever been kind to me. Mario, I'm fighting by your side from now on. I've... I've made my choice, and I'm not turning back. Yeah, Vivian! Oh, wait, no, I, I removed multi-bounce. Shit. <laughs> okay, so that's three. Okay, so that's plus six. I don't have charge P on, so I'm just gonna... Do this. Deal some damage. Yeah! Oh, crap. Okay, so that's three. Let's use power lift! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna be overpowered. Okay, and bam, bam! Shablamzo! Bam! Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am! Damn it! Okay. So Mario's attack is through the roof! Vivian! Hits like a semi! Time to end this in a few turns! Ha! The defense is so high, we're invincible! Spin jump! Ten! Eleven! And one more! A sucker punch to the gut! Mario's out- Shadow Mario's at one HP! The mist has set in! Don't let your guard down. Ha! Ha! Ha ha! This is the power of buffs! This is the power of buffs! I dealt the most damage I ever could! Ha! He didn't even touch us! And we win! Oh! Oh! Let's go! See us fucking dupless cheating jerk? I would have loved for the curse to activate and give me double attack on the turn Mario you spin jump. That would have been hilarious. I would have dealt... Let's see. 
I would have dealt 42 points of damage. He would have died instantly. Rats! You killjoys! You clods! He ran away. I mean, wait, what the heck is going on here? Did we get shell winked? How could I ever mistake my dear Mario for another? Oh, silly flurry. So who's this girl, huh? Isn't she one of the shadow sirens you guys mentioned? Why would Gonzalo's pair with one of those creeps? Well, I, uh... Oh, Mario, thanks for sticking up for me. Well, thanks to her, I guess you came through this okay. No sweat, right? That's something I like. Like, I mean, it's such a good character. Like, Vivian has really joined your party now. And a real seal hole in the deal, she's handing us the crystal star. Vivian's so good, though. Like, even though they take out all the uh, aforementioned to her gender in her story arc, it's still... It, it can be simplified as standing up to a bully. For me, it's standing up to an abusive family member. Someone you're supposed to love. Who you're told you should love. And her sister gave her no kindness. So hell yeah! I'm angry about Vivian not being transgender in this version. I'm still happy that... Her, that her story still was important about standing up for yourself and being yourself. So you know what this means! Bowser and Peach segments away! Vivian, that's so very great! Where's that scatterbrain been all this time? Good. There's Duplis. It's gotta go fast! Are you sure about this? Speak up, x not. Yes, sir. Quite sure. I poured all over a research over the thousand-year door, and it appears that the ceiling power has definitely been weakening, as Beldum said. Finally, the treasure of legend, the ancient power of darkness, will soon be ours. Listen and listen well. Keep giving the Crystal Star Search top priority. Of course, that also includes the elimination of Mario, that meddling scum. Got it, sir! And they do their Hail Hydra. Soon I'll have the power that has slipped for a millennium. So very soon. And when that glorious day dawns, I'll throw the world into depths of terror. No one can stop me now. All will deal before the x not regime. And then I, Cronus, will build a new world. A perfect ideal world. Yes, a world they made me, about me, and for me. <laughs> Until I drop a Yoshi on him. <laughs> oh, skipping entirely. Tech, did you call me? What shall I do today? We'll be dancing, perhaps, disguising, or will I sing a song or something? I... I am conflicted. Huh? What's wrong, Tech? You don't seem yourself. Which is more important, carrying out an order made to pr protecting a critical... Or protecting a critical person. I exist for the purpose of a certain purpose. I wish to exist for the purpose of another. I do not know what to do, really. What do you mean? No, no, never mind. Please forget my musings. I know, do not know why, but it makes me feel unpleasant if I make you worry. Well, in any case, let's have a quiz. A quiz? That's right, Princess Peach. Please answer the questions I'm about to ask you. If you can answer five questions, you may use the communicator as usual. What's with you all of a sudden, huh? Now the first question. What will happen if you collect seven crystal stars? The thousand-year door opens. Correct. Now the second question. What is the goal of Grotus? Conquer the world. Now the third question. What is the legendary treasure? Tech, is this... Princess Peach, please answer. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand-year doors? One million... One hundred million coins. An extremely rare badge... A 1,000-year-old demon soul. I like to think that Protect projected the answers onto his screen. Now the fourth question. <coughs> what does Sir Grotus wish to do with the ancient demon's soul? Cherish it always. Bring the demon back to life or hang out with it. Bring the demon back to life. Correct. 
Now the fifth question. What is required to seal up the demon again? The crystal stars. Correct. Now correctly answered all five questions. Now you may use the communicator. Tech, you... Was it okay for you to tell me such things? Please input the message you wish to send. Tech gets such good development! He's such a good character, and he's a computer! Like, we've had good robot characters, interesting robot characters and things like that. Not so much with an actual, just straight-up AI who's trying to work within the confines of its programming. You're still a weird computer, Tech. <laughs> good night, Princess Peach. And now we go back to the best character. And we all know who that is. Bum 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 ba 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 bum 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 Bowser Zer Zer Bowser is the best character. Bum 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 da 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 my lord, I've received reports of a great secret in the floating town of Glitzville. Let's ride the cheap blimp there. Come now. You there, two tickets. One great and evil king and one sweet young thing. Uh, gravy, B Bowser, the evil king, and a deluded old hag! Life's too short! And he runs away very wisely. What did he just say? Hey, come back here, you impudent little cheapskate! Hey, I'm talking to myself. Where's Lord Bowser go? Where did he go? He's going in Bowser style in the Koopa Clown car. Bruh! Forget that wimpy blimpy. I'll be riding this baby. I snuck into Glitzville once before so I know the way. No problemo. You go easy on your old limbs and take the slow ride on the blimp, Grandma. And... Bowser's still amazing. Wait, Lord Bowser, please! Aw, now my special dirigible deluxe brown bag cami lunch will go to waste. Bowser's going in style. In a remake, I'd actually like to see this be like a bet a shooter section or something like that, or like a um, air level in a Mario game. But no, his clown car. That don't sound good. What are these warning lights? Ah. Uh Bowser falls from a height of like 50 million, 50,000 feet <laughs> into the water. If this were somewhat realistic, he would be dead. Mm. Underwater level that doesn't suck. What blasphemy is this? Bowser! And double double meat. Yeah, Bowser. Oh, I actually love the remix here of the song. Oh, Bowser destroyed the pipe. Springtime! Burninating the countryside! Yeah, Bowser! I love these. They're so goofy, but I love them. And he winds up back at Rogueport. That was terrible. I gotta get in shape. Who's. Ah! It's Bowser! Helena, someone help! Oh, Cammy. There you are, Lord Bowser. What are you doing here? I've been looking all over. If I may ask, where have you been, your sogginess? Swimming. Really? Neat. As for me, our glitzful was fantastic. The fights were so cool. I was overcome. Why, even at my age, I was shaking what my mama gave me. And then the hot dogs. Oh, my gracious. Yummerly. You have fun, too, hmm? 
and the crystal stars now bowser we love you buddy we love you 10 out of 10 bowser's writing best in this game your progress was saved back with mario and if you know the drill we have one more thing to do and that is go see where the next crystal star is I can't believe it was such a fake Mario all that time, so we were fooled. I'm so sorry, Mario, after all you've done for our town. Did we hurt your feelings? Maybe a little. Er, uh, well, alright, it's okay to be in touch with your feelings, so then. You've brought a shining ray of light to our dim little town. Twilight Town thanks you. Hey, Mario, we need to get back to Rogueport, right? Let's go. Please come back to visit any time you'd like. Yep. Yeah. I'll see you at the Thousand Year Door. Oh, wait, no, the Peach email. Would that be an email from Princess Peach? I guess we briefed her about that. My dear Mario, I finally learned what the legendary treasure is. It is the spirit of a demon. The Exnots plan to revive this thousand-year-old monster and use its power to take over the world. They're collecting the crystal stars so they can open the thousand-year door. They'll find this demon's spirit, but the only thing that can keep it locked away is the crystal stars themselves. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Please, Mario, you must put a stop to their horrible plans, Princess Peach. Ancient Demon Spirit? And here we are. Once more, do we hold the star to the door and get this awesome visual effect. I, I, love, I love giant magic circles. They can look so cool, and often they do. I would have liked if they had the full models of the stars you already got floating too, but with the ripple effect, I can easily understand why they didn't. That would be... It would be hard enough to have one star doing that without destroying the frame rate and of the game. It'd be another thing to, to do that times up to seven. And there's the next star. Because, yeah, even there, the frame rate chugs a little bit. You better hurry, don't you think? To the professor! What?! The that was written in Princess Peach's email? The legendary treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon. And those fiends want to use the power of the crystal stars to resurrect it? How bone-chilling. Sadly, it does seem to be consistent with what I've uncovered. What have you found out, Professor? Hmm, this is rather long, so you'd best listen well. Are all of you ready? All you- And you there, in front of the TV! You listen up, too! Maybe I'm missing something. Are you talking to no one? Oh, never you mind! Don't worry about such trivial details like the breaking of reality. Just listen! The great cataclysm that I read about in the book may well refer to this demon. It says that a monster destroyed a large town that once stood in this very area. It also says that the seven crystal stars were actually created by this monster, and that this thing used the power of the crystal stars to try and control the world. According to this book, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes, but only the beast's physical form was destroyed. Its spirit could not be eradicated. So the heroes used the crystal stars which they had stolen from the demon, and they cast the evil beast in the depths of a vast maze and sealed the exit. From this, I gather that the crystal stars cannot distinguish good from evil. So if they're all united, they can either seal away or resurrect the demon. It seems that the who, who, who wields the crystal stars determines if they're used for evil or good. I guess we have to consider not collecting the crystal stars then. It would be awful if we found them all only have them stolen for evil purposes. Does anyone think it might be better just to destroy them once and for all? That was my first thought too, but further research suggests we can't do that. There's a slight possibility that the Thousand Year Door is weakening. It seems the crystal stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. So once a thousand years pass, the power to keep the door sealed shut will fail. And unfortunately, this year may be the thousandth year. Bad luck, huh? The fact that those goons want the stars now may be coincidence, but maybe not. 
In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return, even if the x knots fail. Oh, I guess we better find the rest of the crystal stars then, huh? Where do we start? Hmm, according to the map, it appears to be somewhere on Keel Hall Key. Keel Hall Key? I'm none too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory rumors. You know, the usual stuff, vengeful spirits full of hatred, evil curses, things like that. I'm sure the sea salt's down by the harbor no more. You should head there first. Yep, that's what we have to do, but we'll be doing that next time in Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. So, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below about what you think the next chapter will be. I'll see you next time, so let's let the good times roll.